Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for our video lecture series on basic electronics. In this video, we'll consider the very first concept of basic electronics that is nothing but PN junction diode. So, as the name itself says, PN junction, so here we are going to consider P type semiconductor material and N type semiconductor material and I am going to combine them chemically. So, I said, I'll repeat the sentence, I'm going to consider the P type semiconductor and I'm also going to consider N type semiconductor and I'm going to con uh, combine those chemically so that I'll, I'm going to get PN junction. So, as you can see, this I would call it as P type semiconductor and this I would call it as N type semiconductor. When I combine these two together, I'm going to get a PN junction diode. Is that okay? So, this is what a PN junction is. So I hope by this time of time, I, I, I assume that you already know what a semiconductor is. If I want to revise, the materials are, can be classified as three types. One is conductor, insulator and semiconductor. Conductor which conduct electricity with the ease, there is no resistance at all. And in case of insulator, uh, uh, they do not conduct any electricity, there is a very high resistance. And in case of semiconductor, the conductivity of these semiconductors lies between that of conductor and insulators. In the sense, at room temperature, semiconductors act like insulators and at high temperature, they act like uh, conductors. So now, I consider such a P-type and N-type semiconductor. P-type in the sense, these are rich of holes. So I would say P-type semiconductors are rich of holes and N-type semiconductors are rich of electrons. Are rich of electrons. Are you getting this point? So now, if I want to understand the operation behind P-type and N-type semiconductor, uh, let me consider now the operation. How do I get? Once I uh, join these two uh, things, P-type and N-type sem semiconductor chemically, what is the operation that is going to happen? So that I'll consider now. For that, I'm going to draw the same P-type and N-type semiconductors a bigger slabs. So now, this I would call it as P-type. This I would call it as P-type and this I would call it as N-type. So as I already said, P-types are rich of electron, are rich of holes. So let me draw the positive sign which indicates holes. So these have rich of electrons, uh, sorry, rich of holes. So I'm going, I'm drawing the same thing as the holes. And I said that these are rich of holes. That doesn't mean that they don't have any electrons. They also have few electrons in the minority. But the thing, major thing is holes are in majority and electrons are in minority. Similarly for n type of semiconductors, these are rich of electrons. These are rich of electrons and it again doesn't mean that they contain only electrons. There are holes as well, but they are minority. So hence I call them as minority charge carriers and uh, electrons as the majority charge carriers. So that is what is there in n-type semiconductor. Yes, I'm almost done now. So here uh, there are many number of electrons and few holes and in type of p-type semiconductor there are many number of holes and there are very few electrons as you can see. Getting it? So now the task is I combine these two things chemically. So once I combine, once I join p-type and n-type semiconductor, what is going to happen? If I could see that at the p-type the holes are majority. And now they diffuse into n type because why it is because the flow of energy is always from high concentration to low concentration. Here the holes are at very high concentration and here the holes are at low concentration. Now holes start moving from p type to n type semiconductor. Is that okay? So as they move, they start getting accumulated. Where do they get accumulated? They get accumulated near the junction. So this I call it as uh, junction. Junction in the sense, when I combine them chemically at that layer, this layer I call it as junction. So here, holes start getting accumulated. Are you getting with this? 
from p type holes started moving and they start coming over here they get accumulated here now similarly the electrons what happens now for the electrons there is a flow of high concentration uh, from p type uh, from n type to a low concentration on p type so electrons start moving in this way you getting it once they start moving to p type semiconductor they would also move and start getting accumulated near the junction so let me use a different color so that we can understand it much better they start getting accumulated near here so i would call it as near the junction so this process continues the process of diffusion from p type to n type and n type to p type the moment of holes and moment of electrons the process of diffusion continues for some time so i would say that this process continues only for some time i don't say it forever forever it doesn't continue it it continues only for some time after that the process of diffusion stops what could be the reason try to understand the holes were were in majority at p type and they start moving they started moving towards the n type because of the force of attraction and because of the diffusion as well what do you mean by force of attraction at n type they have a lot of electron lot of electrons and holes get accumulated holes get attracted towards the electrons that was the process that was the process at the early stage after some time what happens is now apart from the force of attraction now there comes the force of repulsion so where is that force of repulsion so i would write that the force of repulsion so where does this force of repulsion come from so look here at the junction i have got lot of uh, holes so now this force of repulsion the, the holes at p type they get repelled from the hole that, that that are accumulated near the junction now this force has become more than the force of attraction are you getting it similarly at p type consider i have got lot of free electrons now lot of electrons they get, they got uh, uh, moved from n type to p type and they accumulated here now if a further electron if say for example if this electron wants to move to p type semiconductor earlier there was a force of attraction from the holes now now uh, there are lot of accumulated electrons at the junction if this electrons want to move here there is a force of repulsion now getting it now this force of repulsion is more compared to the force of attraction of these holes hence the process of diffusion stops in the sense the moment of electrons and the moment of holes stops at some time after some time initially there was a process of diffusion now it got stopped because of force of repulsion on either side and uh, this process stops here and whatever uh, this point i would call whatever the junction is uh, formed at this i call it as depletion layer i would call this as depletion layer or it is also called as a junction hence it is known as pn junction are you getting uh, this so if i want to explain what is depletion depletion in the sense it is depleted of it is free of the electrons and holes here uh, it doesn't allow the movement of electrons or holes it is depleted of free ions hence the name depletion layer and junction in the sense as soon as uh, p type and n type are formed chemically uh, a layer is formed a junction is formed hence the name junction is that okay so this is what the uh, the basic operation of uh, p n junction i have explained so that anyone can understand it uh, very easily so now the same uh, p n junction diode if i want to use it for the external world in the sense i now i got a diode i want to use it for my application so how do i use it i cannot just consider p type and n type and start using it uh, in the sense i need to provide the connections to the external world so here i just consider it i just get two uh, metal contacts so i'll have the metal contacts and later i'll give this 
a layer and another I will give this so now I would call uh, wherever I have at the P type I call it as anode the positive side of the diode is called as anode and negative side I would call this as cathode so now the diode is ready for us to use in the external world is that okay so why do you connect these uh, metal contacts one can understand because if I want to use it in the external world uh, for different applications I cannot just consider a one P type and N type so I should have the connection so how do I connect it for that I have connected uh, these two layers hence I call this as anode at the positive side and cathode at the negative side so now you can see uh, we are in a position to understand uh, the name diode how does this come from Di stands for 2 because I have uh, two uh, semiconductor, two, two P type semiconductor, N type semiconductor, hence the name Di. ODE comes from this anode and cathode. Towards the end, ODE is there. I take that name and I join it to the Di. I get diode. So now I got a new element, electrical electronics uh, uh, component that I would call it as diode. Is that okay? So this is the basic operation of PN junction diode. I hope everyone has understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I will definitely answer those uh, doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for uh, more videos on basic electronics. Thank you everyone for watching.